Hello everyone! In today's video I'll be showing you how to make seven really inexpensive gift baskets using mainly Dollar Tree and Dollarama items. So I don't know if you guys have heard of Wine Ninja, but that was something that was trending a few months ago. It was a little game women were playing with each other, so basically to spread some love and joy since the world had kind of gotten so gloomy and doomy, people were sending anonymous gift baskets to people and like dressing up as ninjas and dropping it off so that their identity would not be revealed and dropping little cute gift baskets to bring some cheer and joy and the point is to keep it completely anonymous. I ended up joining a neighborhood one and the only downside of it you have to like put your address out there publicly but my neighborhood is like pretty good so I didn't mind and I ended up getting wine ninja and it was the most cutest adorablest thing and it really made my day and I loved it so much and I really wanted to play it with some friends. Some of my friends though said they had concerns of having to put their address out there publicly so I created a private group to get some people to play and I had eight amazing lovely ladies play with me and all of them made the most incredible baskets to give to each other and every single person got a gift and to thank everyone for playing anonymously so they don't know I did this I wanted to give every single person a basket who played so I made seven different baskets for everybody and it was super easy so I'm going to show you how I did that. So the first thing I did was I just went to the store and I bought a whole bunch of different items so buying a whole bunch of different items Items. I had no rhyme or reason of why I was buying thing anything I thought was cute or anything I thought that would be like really useful to someone I went and bought a whole bunch of stuff so that was the first thing I did so let me show you all the things I got so I'll start with all the stationery that I ended up getting so I saw these little notepads or little stickies that were all together self-adhesive note set and I thought it's so cute I remember actually using this in my binders and it was super useful like who doesn't need some stickies so this was from Dollar Tree these were a dollar 25 each and I also have these cute Kate Spade looking books this is from Dollarama and I just thought giving these books would make it look just so much more high-end these were two dollars and fifty cents each and they come in a whole bunch of different colors I think I just used the dark blue purplish color and the green one in these baskets I also found this little notebook make today so awesome I thought this was a cute little notebook to give away I wanted to incorporate a little bit of a writing notebook in each of the baskets and I found this one, Follow Your Dreams, They Know The Way. I thought that was just really cute. And I found this little tiny mini clipboard also from Dollar Tree that has magnets on the back so you can hang this on your fridge. And this is also from Dollar Tree, just like another clipboard pad. And then I found these cool little like portfolio type of notepads that they open up and they had a variety of different designs so I ended up buying two of these. And also remember, like I had no idea how I was going to be making these baskets, so I'm just buying random stuff. This is an orange notepad that I had. This is so cute, and I don't know, maybe this is like just me nerding out over this little dinosaur pencil case. How cute! I just thought it was adorable, and there was a similar one like this as well, where it detaches the lid, so it's like a little tin can that fully detaches. And these push pins are so cute as well. So next up, I found a bunch of beauty products I wanted to use, so I got these spiral hair bands because they're the best and I love them so much. Who doesn't need hair ties? I got these little jewelry mermaid tail holders. I also found this red beautiful elf lipstick from the Dollar Tree and some elf smudge pot eyeshadow. So it's kind of like a creamy eyeshadow. So I really like the color of that. Oh my gosh, I got this makeup towel remover. It works like a charm. This face mask as well. And this cute little hairband lollipop. Like how adorable is that? In this little makeup bag. I have it all. It says I just really like the color of this and it's kind of a cloth inside as well so you don't obviously have to use this for makeup. It is supposed to be a makeup bag but you could use this for whatever. I found this little pineapple loofah and a strawberry loofah as well. So cute. Up next is kitchen items. So the first thing I got were these cute little pineapple ice cube makers. You know, I don't know if anyone actually really needs this, but I thought it was so, so adorable. So I really wanted to give that to somebody. I had also this little planner, like this weekly planner I was going to give away. I found these silicone scrubbers. They can be used, are meant to be used for your pots and pans. But it could totally be used to clean makeup brushes as well. I also had these reusable ice cubes. If you don't have reusable ice cubes, oh my god, they are life changing. You need to get them now. Like they're absolutely amazing. So I thought I'd give this away to somebody as well. And these bowls are from Dollar Tree. You get four for a dollar twenty-five. I love these bowls so much. So I wanted to give it to someone. And a wine glass because this is wine and giant. And some Smarties. I got a ten pack of Smarties that I was gonna give to everybody. Some other candy. So whether it's original, these cheese dippers 
Snickers and some cookies I had. Up next is kids' choice. So some of the people I had, they are moms, and like one is my sister-in-law and my niece, so I got our tea set. I saw this cute little cat purse, and oh my gosh, this little squishy thing. I don't know what's inside, but it feels amazing. And another little smiley stress ball, and I had some random items that I was going to use as well. So that just includes a candle, because you know, people like candles, and a pineapple-themed little bath bomb. So those are all their products. Now I'm going to show you how I put it together. So first I got some baskets. So I bought four of these. I thought these gold baskets were so cute from Dollar Tree. So I bought four of those. I bought one of these and I bought like a long paper tray and a little bowl. A cute little lemon bowl. So my basket number one, so I use the gold little basket. I think feel like the gold baskets just look so beautiful and stunning and classy. So what I did is just add some tissue paper. I added this little tiny notepad to it. Then I added this sticky as well to this one. And then the little dinosaur pencil case, a little smiley face dress ball, lollipop hairband, um, some eyeshadow and like for this person they have a small daughter so that's why I wanted to include kind of this like cute fun kid stuff and the Smarties and there you go basket number one is done so basket number two I used the same gold round basket so I added in this make today so awesome notebook and then I added this cute little makeup bag or type of bag for whatever use some push pins the cute little container some hair bands and some Smarties, and there you go, it's all done. Basket number three, again, using the round container, so kind of the same idea again. Once again, I put the Kate Spade looking notebook in there. I added the sticky set as well in here. Then I put the candle, the little silicone scrubber. I have one of these and I actually really, really love it. I just bought one recently even to use for my body, so I'll see how that goes. Put the ice cubes in here and some lipstick and Smarties. So that's that one. So basket number four, this total cost was about $10. So again, using the gold basket and using pink tissue paper to fluff it up a bit. Added the purpley blue colored notebook. Then I added the stickies for this one as well. Then the pineapple bath bomb, the face mask, the little jewelry holder, some lipstick, and Smarties again. So basket number four. So basket number five, I used this square type of gold basket. So added tissue there. This basket cost about $9. So added the tissue and I put the pineapple ice tray. I put the little tiny book in there. Also another jewelry holder, another little tiny clipboard in there, some hair bands, a loofah, that's pineapple shape. I had a little pineapple theme going on here and some Marty's. So that comes to the total of this basket. So, so stinking easy to do all of these and look how cute it looks. So next up is basket number six. So I was doing this for my sister-in-law and my niece. So I needed a little bit of a bigger thing since I was putting treats for both of them. So also again, added a whole bunch of tissue paper to make it nice and fluffy. So for my niece, I got this little tea set, which she is obsessed with. She's three years old, and she just loves the pouring aspect of this. And then I added another little notebook in here, and then the pineapple ice cube tray. This face towel that removes your makeup, it's amazing. I got the squishy and the cat little purse for my niece in there too. The bowls, because again, those bowls are amazing. A little wine glass, and you can see there's two boxes of Smarties in there. Face mask and some cheese dippers, which my sister-in-law was like obsessed with, and she was like, these are so good. And some more cookies and a strawberry loofah. So there we go, that completes that basket. Oh, sorry, and some hair bands as well. Dang, this basket was full. But yeah, there we go, that completes that basket. In this last basket, I decided to use this lemon bowl. Somebody in the group got already ninja'd two times, so this would be their third time ninja getting ninja'd, and I didn't want to leave them out, but I didn't want to make it big and extravagant since they were ninja'd so many times. So this one was like more fun. I put a lot of candies in there, Smarties, cookies, a notepad, a pen, and a canvas because that's what they like. 
So you can see all the baskets here and there is still a final step. This is not totally done, but yeah, this is what they look like. I think they look so cool and so beautiful. And then here are some cards I took out. Just I wrote in there, you've been ninja and then love anonymous because it's supposed to be an anonymous thing. And I put all those cards in there. And then the last step, I just took some cellophane that I got from Dollarama and then I just covered it up and tied it with ribbon just to make it look really, really pretty. And this is what they look like all done up. So what do you you guys think did you guys like how these baskets turned out which basket was your favorite I'd love to know which basket you would have loved to receive please comment down below if you from number one to seven which one you like I hope this has given you some ideas on how to create your own basket in the future obviously not for wine ninja but for any occasion hope you have a wonderful day bye